Buttigieg actually declared victory without any official accounts, uh, maybe 2%. Uh, and Bernie has, in fact, earned more than 6,000 more votes than Pete Buttigieg. And we're not even talking about the Republican-style voter suppression and disenfranchisement tactics of the, uh, of the satellites, um, which make I, uh, Pete should is, uh, that's Warren. <laughs> so yeah, uh, yeah, this is Pete. What noise does a rat make? Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't, you know, I don't. Some type of uh, thing eating through wires. But David, how is it that you could say that Bernie is wrong for saying he won the most votes, which he did by a large Because Bernie said Bernie did not get. He didn't get there first. Pete did. He declared victory first. It's called squatters' rights. <laughs> He gets it. That, that's a win column for Mayor Pete. Move on, get past it. And that thing about winning the popular vote, he did that to to taunt Hillary. That whole thing of you know winning the popular vote but losing the, the delegate count. That, that he's a dead ender from 2016, and he's he's poking at Hillary, and, and he should leave her alone. He should just leave her alone. She's a private citizen. Why is he doing that? Wait a second, David. Hillary Clinton, in the process of promoting a Hulu special, has had nothing but hate and contempt. I'm totally convinced she would vote for Donald Trump over Bernie Sanders. What are you yeah, talking well, about? This is, you see, we, this is a problem with, you know, I'm a big Bernie supporter. You know that. I love Bernie from, from way back. But it's this divisiveness that just really makes me wonder if Medicare for All is a good idea after all. <laughs> I, I'm just not sure about this. And I, why, are you, why are you taunting Hillary? Why are you doing this? Because of Haiti. Because of who? Haiti. Because of Haiti? Uh, people, people have a, a right to make a living. <laughs> I, I'm a lefty. I, I know. I, I hate the man just as much as you do. But you know, you got to do the bad to do the good to do more than that. Then some more bad, and you know, I, I, and Rashida Tlaib. You know, the booing, the booing. Uh, see, this is this is locker. <laughs> All right, I'm having too much fun. <laughs> you can't, it is, you know, it's that lack of civility that makes me wonder if public education should be free. <laughs> I, I will not, I can't, you know, we need to be a big tent, Michael, and I love Bernie. I love everything he stands for. I want him to, I'm an old, old lefty. From way back. Way back. Way back. Wait a second. Wait, Hold wait. on. Hold and on. I hate Trump. I hate Trump. I bet you do. So I'm a lefty. I hate Trump. David. Way back. Are you right there? Hmm? <laughs> you said you're in New Hampshire. I feel like I'm in New Hampshire. And, and, and Bernie. <laughs> I'm in New Hampshire. And, and I'm telling you, I, I, I don't know if Bernie's going to be able to win. He keeps promising the moon. <laughs> And he can't win by promising the moon. And uh, he's not, I don't know, I haven't worried about him. <laughs> you know what, David? I, first of all, come out on stage. Woo! I'd like to, I'm in New Hampshire and it's freezing. <laughs> and, and I have to say that Bernie is, he's scaring suburbanites. <laughs> Did you see the results in Iowa? Did you see that? Yeah, I did. He won. So says you, and uh, he scared suburbanites. And you know, you gotta be pretty scary if you frighten suburbanites. <laughs> because they do not scare easily. <laughs> you know who I like? Who, oh, David? Kamala Harris, I think she. I do. I, I think she. I think she. She checks off all the boxes. I think she's, I think she's fantastic. 
and she's fantastic. Yeah, she would obviously, definitely, she would take that 0.5% of the White House. Uh, okay. like, David, I, I, I see have to you. go. I have to go, I, but let me yes. just say something. Yes, in conclusion. I, I, I hope Bernie wins. I, I really do, because I'm a lefty from way back. But he's divisive. Whoa, 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 why? How, wait a second. We have to stop this, but how on earth are you saying that he is divisive? He's divisive. Look at the results from Iowa. <laughs> are you, you saying he's not? Di- you know who's not divisive? Who? Deval Patrick. <laughs> Did you see the results from Iowa? Zero delegates. Zero delegates. <laughs> That's how you build a consensus. <laughs> Nothing. He got nothing. That's, so Bernie is being divisive by winning. He's being divisively, decisively divisive. Yes. <laughs> and, and he should lay back. He should lay back. And uh, I, I hate Trump. I'm a lefty. David? Yes. I have a I fun. hate you. <laughs> Can I just announce a GoFundMe that we're doing? Yes. Final 10 seconds. We're going to get to Matt Binder. And you're not, you're still, you're literally right there. No, I'm not. I'm freezing my ass off in New Hampshire. I am freezing in New Hampshire. We're doing a GoFundMe for uh, Rush Limbaugh. We're... <laughs> We're trying to raise $3 million for the lung cancer. I like you again. Huh. Right. I hate Rush Limbaugh. That makes me a lefty. And I hate Trump. But Bernie can't win. Bernie can't win. I love him, but he can't win. You know why he can't win? Look at the results from Iowa. How did Joe Biden do? He did horribly. Yes. He's an old white man. He, that proves that people won't vote for an old white man. Just not a Gentile senile. <laughs> David, David, thank you. David Brooks no is here. You. David Brooks is here. <laughs> We're going to go sing the Internacional. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, David. Woo! David Feldman reporting from backstage. All right, guys. Um, by the way, you don't have to watch MSNBC or CNN again. You just got it. <laughs> or read the New York Times editorial page. That's it. Or listen to NPR or any number of other organizations that you should immediately cut uh, and join independent media. It's a reunion. It's reunion time. For people who saw uh, when we both started subbing for Sam, Sam was like, my dad hurts. I don't want a full work week. I have kids and it's too much, but I have other schemes. What we should do is start a majority report part two podcast, and then we can produce that on another feed, but it will be the same, but like part two. Anyways, I need a day off. You guys sub for me. Okay, Sam. You would have seen the old M&M Mondays Woo! with my friend Matt Binder, who now you can find on the Doomed podcast. And his music, please. He's coming out right now. What's up, everybody? Theory. <laughs> well, that's what actually what we're going to talk about. And I, I don't even mean this flippantly because you're a guy who tracks the right wing online. And you knew about, you know, people who were like and the alt-right, all these crazy subcultures well before everybody else. And uh, Matt would be over there and be like, hey, did you see this guy? He sells protein shakes and says the Holocaust never happened. <laughs> <laughs> sure. And then, like three years later, that guy's like the deputy defense secretary. <laughs> <laughs> it's Trump true. Straight and so I'm actually legitimately disturbed. Like we're, we're setting this up by me saying I am 
obviously, I'm not a liberal. I'm not a centrist. I have very different politics. Woo! Woo! But we were actually still breaking news. Breaking news. <laughs> we're still banking on the idea that there were people that we were competing against and even viciously fighting against who weren't completely insane. And that at least there was only one major block of American politics that had completely divorced itself from reality. And I don't know whether this is social media or what, but with some of, not all of, but some of the Russia stuff and some of the stuff we're seeing now with Iowa, there is a huge contingent of people who identify with the mainstream of the Democratic Party who are fucking nuts. <laughs> Matt, what's going on from the Twitter and social media universe of these people? I mean, is that fair? Uh, that is very fair. I mean, what we're seeing basically is that the liberals have basically come up with their own uh, Alex Jones. They have their own Infowars now. No charisma. No charisma, that's right. Alex Jones, so much more talented. I mean, give it up to Alex Jones. <laughs> Hometown hero. So I'm sorry, could you imagine a liberal Alex Jones who would be like, like this with like NPR and literally, and folks, I'm telling you, this is the Russians. They have an unflattering picture of Hillary Clinton special. Why? Because that's Russian intelligence. <laughs> I need to go take a nap. <laughs> I mean, honestly, how much more entertaining are those guys? I mean, who would you rather watch if you were looking to be entertained? Would you want to hear Malcolm Nance talk about the latest Russia conspiracy? Or do you want Mike Cernovich telling you there's a pedophile ring under a pizza place in these days? Yeah. Weird Mike! Weird Mike! I know who I prefer. <laughs> but what's going on and what are, like, give me a couple of examples of, of uh, what we're talking about here, including even with Iowa. Right. Well, I mean, the biggest conspiracy theorist right now on the left, if you can call it that, the liberals, is uh, Hillary Clinton. Yeah. I mean, she's Locker. out there saying how Bernie Sanders didn't do anything for her. That is 